Try and guide Aldrin out as he comes backwards. How far are my feet from here? Okay, you're right at the edge of the porch. Making sure not to lock it on my way out. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful view. Isn't that something? Magnificent sight out here. Magnificent desolation. Okay, Houston, I'm going to change lenses on you. Uh, Roger, Neil. There's a moment while Neil Armstrong changes the lens on the television camera. When he takes it out to its distant position, we'll get a wide view of everything that's going on. 20, 50 feet, why don't you turn around and let, uh, let them get a view from there and uh, okay. see what the field of view looks like. Back the cable. There it is. The lunar module. I'll get a couple panoramas with it, sir. Uh, you're going too fast on the panorama sweeps. You're going to have to stop for... Uh, I haven't stopped. I haven't set it down yet. That's the first picture in the panorama. Right there. Roger. The sea of tranquility. Okay, I'm going to move it. Okay, there's another good one. The blackness of the sky. Okay, we got that one. Yeah, that's the one we got. Roger, and we see Buzz going about his work. How's that for a final uh, Roger, Okay, that looks good there, Neil. Yeah, that looks good there, Neil. And we've just heard that all over the world there are 33 countries who have stayed up to take these pictures live. This is CBS News color coverage of Man on the Moon. This evening, a walk on the moon. Now here again is Walter Cronkite. Well, for thousands of years now, it's been man's dream to walk on the moon. Right now, after seeing it happen, knowing that it happened, it still seems like a dream. Let's go now to Mike Wallace at our CBS News Space Headquarters in London for a report on the world reaction to this event today. Mike? The headline of the Daily Mirror here tells it all for London. Let me read it. The date, July 21, A.D. 1969, man walks on the moon. Astronaut Neil Armstrong launched a new era for mankind today when he stepped from the lunar module. America, a land of frontiersmen, has launched a new frontier. All of the newspapers here, of course, have given banner headlines to the story. And on the television channels, all of them this morning, they are replaying the tapes of the astronauts' walk on the moon. But of course, there is no sense of holiday here. It is a working Monday morning, but it seems that everybody you talk to in London watch television all night through. And of course, there is nothing but admiration for Armstrong and Aldrin. I suppose it's an achievement which incorporates all the work, all the discoveries of the mathematicians and the scientists and the space experts, almost from the earliest days of mathematics and science, and incorporates the technologies and the experience of many nations. And now, I think, our greatest feeling of all is our prayers for the safe return of these three very great men. For those of you who have just tuned in, one of the astronauts walking on the surface of the moon. And here comes Mike Collins, 70 miles up 
in the command module. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes from the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. Arthur, uh, you've been dreaming of this moment long before many of us did, beginning back in the mid-1930s. You were writing about going out to the moon. What was your feeling when we saw this thing happen today? Well, I don't think I did feel anything. I think we all sort of, the time just stopped for me, and I think it stopped for everybody. It was just a, a hole in history, you know, and every, the whole world's, everything, my heart stopped. Breathing stopped. I can't imagine a moment to, to, to equal this. Uh, the only thing I could imagine is if some fellow came forward and could say positively, we're not going to have any more war. I think this is a step in that direction because this sort of thing is making our stupidities here on Earth seem more and more intolerable. And I think this may be the greatest result of the space program. Come in, Mr. Heinlein. I agree with what Arthur said a while ago about the possible effect on war on this planet. But I think this whole business today, this week, has been thought of in many cases in too small terms. This is the greatest event in all the history of the human race up to this time. This is, today is New Year's Day of the year one. If we don't change the calendar, historians will do so. The human race will not die. Even if we spoil yeah, this planet, the really human the race will not die. It's going to go on and on and on. For those who haven't uh, read the plaque, uh, it says, Dear men from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon. It came in peace for all mankind. July 1969, it is. Uh, Roger, our guidance recommendation is you're cleared for takeoff. Roger, understand. We're number one on the runway. Port stage, engine arm ascent. Proceed. Uh, 